Why, hello there. I hope you're not drinking a smoothie right now because you probably forgot to add the latest superfood, you silly goose. It's crickets. So I was in a health food store the other day, just minding my own vegan business, and I look down and I see a strange package. It said, the planet's most sustainable superfood, roasted crickets. Every word on that damn package just contradicts and reverse engineers its own stupidity. God damn it. Let's break it down. So to be considered a superfood, you either gotta be super high in one nutrient or pretty high in many nutrients. Interestingly enough, when I entered crickets into chronometer, they didn't fucking exist because they're not fucking food. So there's that. Cricket flour is said to be a great source of protein, iron, calcium, B12, and more. And by more, they mean wings and sharp, jagged, skeletal remains. So let's see, is it a great source of calcium like it claims? In a two tablespoon serving, you get 1.8% of your daily calcium needs. You'd need to eat about 100 tablespoons of cricket flour to get your calcium for the day. That doesn't sound like a fun day. B12, 16.7% per serving. You know what happens to a basketball player when he shoots 16.7% from the free throw line? He's shot in the dick. Crickets are a good source of protein, but not quite as good as flies, grasshoppers, or termites. A lot of people lose their homes to termites. You idiots. You never thought of eating them? That's the first fucking thing that came to my mind when I had termites. Han, we have termites. So we eat them. Uh, okay. Crickets are actually way too high in protein for human consumption. Even Lauren Cordain, author of The Paleo Diet, suggests that most people have a protein ceiling of about 200 to 300 grams of protein a day, or 30 to 40 percent of your calories for most people. Going beyond this would lead to nausea, vomiting, and eventually death from protein toxicity. Crickets are 55 percent protein. If you ate 2,500 calories a day, you'd get 344 grams of protein that day. You would die in a couple days on a diet rich in crickets. So how is eating a food that kills you sustainable? I don't like to die too often if I'm being honest with you. I hate it actually, it hurts my knees. John Hammersmith of the Cricket Association of America had this to say, I eat the crickets. Thanks John. The thing that bothers me the most about this world's least sustainable food is that animal agriculture is known to be the most destructive industry on the planet. But people see insects and animals as separate. Just because they're small and annoying, you want to punch them in the face. I get it. But let me share with you some of the good things that crickets do for us on this earth. They break down plant material and renew the soil. Everybody's complaining about the topsoil has no nutrients, it sucks. The crickets rebuild that for us. So without crickets, your broccoli would have the nutrient density of an ice cube. Crickets also eat the seeds of pesky weeds like crabgrass and pigweed. I googled that shit. Those weeds would overrun the planet and kill us all if it weren't for crickets. They're also an important source of food for other animals. Not humans, you dumb bitch. Animals who aren't smart enough to go vegan yet, like birds, mice, lizards, and spiders. So if you'd like to go bird watching, don't eat the bird food. There ain't gonna be no damn birds left. And last but not least, they sing little cricket songs. Come on, everybody has good memories of crickets singing them to sleep while they're camping with their family. Leave the crickets alone. Besides, you trying to tell me you'd eat Jiminy Cricket? How do you live with yourself? So that's it. Vegetable police work is complete. If you ever have any news stories that need policing, just post them down below. I will bring them to justice. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Crickets also eat the pesky, nope, 16.7% of your daily recommended I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I eat the crickets.
We have termites. We're gonna eat them. Crabgrass and dickweed. Crabgrass and pigweed. I was close. I wasn't close. Thank you.